Hey folks, Silver Stack and Pro here. And guess what? I picked I went to a coin show today in the Bay Area and it was amazing. Uh there were lots and lots of people and uh all types of people. And uh there were young people, old people, there was uh, twenty four dealers, they were all pretty nice. And they had big selections. Um not really in Boolean, but I did manage to get a lot of awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. But a lot of numismatics too. So I went with the objective of just trying to trade stuff, and I did make two big trades, and one of them I'm really, uh, to both of them I'm really, really happy with. So to start off, I had an MS64 Walker, and you guys know that, the old green holder from PCGS. Well, I upgraded that to an MS65 for for um two rounds, two one ounce rounds, and eight dollars. And this actually, I I bought this because it's a luster bomb. So that's the walker. It's a 1947 uh, D. And you can see the luster. You can see all that beauty with the coin. And then the reverse is actually like perfect, I'd say. The the uh, the obverse is probably MS64. This is probably MS66 plus or MS67 of reverse. And it's just amazing. And I like the fact that it's uh, PCGS. I like the more than the NGC in at least all coins. Um, I like the clear holder. And it's my opinion. But I I saw some really, really, really nice medals from the 1800s. But, and they were like totally popping out. But I just couldn't pay that money. I don't know why. It was like uh, 100 bucks for like a 2.9 ounce uh, medal. And you want to see some last glances? That's a coin. Next, I took my sovereign there and I got a beautiful trade with it. Basically, what he did was spot on the sovereign was two ninety five, and he gave me two hundred ninety five dollars worth of silver. Uh, the silver spot price was fifteen fifty six, so that a uh, two hundred ninety five dollars got exactly nineteen ounces. So he gave me nineteen ounces of silver. And I guess he just, uh, he just had miscellaneous stuff, so, I mean, uh, he gave me some eagles, too. I'll show you that later, uh, after this, but, um, first, for the first 10 ounces, he gave me my first one of these. This 10 ounce silver bar. Yeah, I'm wearing a Giants. But, 10 ounce silver bar from Sunshine Mint. Uh, it's really nice. I mean, I really like the um, I really like the front of it and the back, and it's got some nice toning. And for a uh, spot price of a trade, I'm very happy. Especially since I actually only spent two hundred forty-three dollars on the sovereign, so I got almost twenty ounces for that. Um, so that's that equates to about twelve ninety-eight ounce. That's pretty good. And then I got, let's see what I'm trying to do next. I got lots and lots of uh, stuff. But first, let's show you the uh, singleton. It was this beautiful Morgan Silver Ann. And this one is really nice because it actually pops. Let me just get this out of the capsule because you guys should see without a capsule. It's, it's perfect. And you can see the, you can see the reflection. 2000. And the reverse is even cooler. It's a Republic of Liberia, Liberia, but I think I'm trying to say uh, it's one dollar Republic of Liberia, which is actually a country, but I think Liberia also means li freedom. So, Republic of Freedom. I'll have to do some more research. Two thousand. This seems like a pre Norfed. This is like probably before Norfed. That was the idea, and I think they succeeded because look at that round. And it's one ounce. I got this as, along with the others for sp in the spot price deal. Next, I got this 1999 Eagle, colorized. And you know, for spot, I'm fine with this. I'm happy. Uh, it's got a small, it's, it's got a milk spot under the off. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with this, given it's for spot. And I got another one. And this has got some real bad spotting. Uh, this is next to the, over here you got spotting, and on the re reverse, 
you can see where all the spotting's at. But I think for a uh, spot price, it doesn't matter if it's spotting. I'd rather take spotted eagle than than uh you know spotted or than destroyed one ounce rounds. And for spot price, I don't think I can complain at all. Let me just get take this guy out of the capsule. I haven't taken much of the, of the capsule, so this is actually as much of a learning as that to you as it is to me. And I'll take it out. Next, I've got um, this last colorized, which is so nice. I want to keep this one. Look at that. Perfect, right? And the reverse, unlike the others, the reverse is done. And I like this reverse. For spot price, I'm very happy with this. And now, lastly, I've got some of these. Truly vintage rounds to end up with my trade. 1981 Worldwide Mint. And look at that. That's that's beautiful. I absolutely love this. And I've got different forms of toning. This one's got the monster toning. Look at that blue. The blues and the purples and the pinks. Beautiful. Next I have another one. Truly toned. And this one's nice. Again, the same one. I believe this is a 1981. Yeah, 1981. Uh, one troy ounce fine silver. And it doesn't actually give the year in this one. The other one it does. So, it leads me to believe that we have a different round here. Or actually we do. Yeah, they're both the same. Yeah, yeah. They're, 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 they're both the same. This is 1981 too. This has got some toning. But this is actually a very nice reverse. Um, we've got another one. Of these. Less toning. And the last one. So, for a Sovereign, I got a heavy, my first bar of, of this weight. And we, we got 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 ounces of silver. And for my M64 Walker, 2 ounces of silver and $8, we got this. Thanks, guys. Bye.